Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Nike Air Max 2016. Give you guys my thoughts on the shoe. At the end of the video, there'll be an on-feet section. Uh, if you guys are curious about purchasing a pair of these, check the links in the description. Uh, you can probably get them under retail for with, at some of the links. Like uh, Definitely on eBay, you'll be able to get them under retail. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the shoe. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. It is, the uh, again, the 2016 version of the Air Max. I think it's actually, this colorway in particular is super, super clean. Uh, I actually really, really like uh, the upper and the way it looks and how everything kind of comes together uh, with the fly uh, wire right here as it kind of just comes along the pipes. And uh, and then, um, yeah, it's just kind of a nice little easy lacing system. And then I always do the kind of the double loop at the top, as you can see here. So basically I just took and um, pushed this through the top twice and then made it so this is how I lace it. Um, but so it looks really, really clean in my opinion. It's a really comfortable shoe and that's like another huge plus is obviously um, with this giant Air Max uh, unit, it's really, really comfortable. Um, there's some negatives I'll get into, I guess at the end, but um, the other thing I actually really dig is the placement of the, the swoosh right here. And this is uh, re reflective and then there's some back parts right here, right here that are actually reflective as well as the tongue. And, um, so I actually, I, I thought this was kind of obnoxious at first, but after I wear more and more, I'm like, it actually, it gives it uh, like the perfect branding for the shoe. And then you could see the Air Max on the, uh, the Air Max bubble itself. Um, the other thing that I actually kind of like is the construction of the tongue. It's different than the Flyknit version. And I, you guys will have to keep me honest because I don't have the 2015 versions, but um, is the tongue the same or is this different than the, the 2015? It looks kind of like almost like armored in a, in a sense i don't know i just like the the pressed areas around here to, and that the full construction of the tongue i think it looks just really kind of um i don't know it looks like sort of so, like some armor or something like that but it's very very breathable and um i don't know i like the fact that and my dogs just so you guys know the dog's snoring over there <laughs> it sounds like something crazy is going on but like some stomach issues but it's my dog chloe snoring uh that's what she does uh but uh but anyway, yeah, the, the insoles, really, really bright um, neon. And um, what I was saying was, is yeah, I like the tongue and, and the overall uh, aesthetics of the tongue. I think it's a really nice looking sneaker. I really like the upper, actually, and I like the way it kind of goes together. I have a feeling they definitely can do some really cool things with this upper because they could probably make some really cool fades or colorways or something like that. And I like the fact that this time when they did the release, they kept it really simple like a blue, a, a kind of a reddish colorway and a black colorway to start us off. Last year for the 2015, you got the crazy ones with the two different tones like this, like on the, the, the soles. And it was like a constant theme where everything was two-toned. And it got to the point where I was like, dude, I really want this black pair that has orange on it, but it's black, orange, and yellow. And the, with that yellow fade, or there was just a bunch of weird stuff. Like with the colorways, it was like green and, and uh, blue. And it was just not really... Uh, simplistic and sometimes you just want something like this where it's simple it doesn't look like anything too crazy but at the same time it's something you get the maximum amount of cushioning and a really really nice looking clean sneaker so I uh, kudos to Nike for doing that uh, the negative side about this which is part of the reason why I have the Flyknit pair out here is because this shoe is is basically um, it's like buying a new car and then buying or then seeing a new model come out the next year and the only thing they change on that new model is like the taillights basically something really not very uh, like expensive they change on it but they charge you more for the next model than the previous and i think this one's 190 or something like that but it, for me it, it's kind of like they cheated it in a way because the sole is exactly the same the midsole is exactly the same and I think this is like the third year running this is like the LeBron complex where the LeBron lows they did this for year after year they gave us the same sole and like recycled it and it was just kind of a lazy way of going about things um, you could see the air bubble is exactly the same on both pairs and the only thing is different is this one has air max here but some of the 2015 versions had that as well um, the peaks around the back the same exact I mean it's literally the same um, Midsole, not only the same sole though, it's the same, it's the actual same sole, like the same traction and everything. Like, so that to me is like, cool guys, you gave us a brand new shoe, but by the way, you didn't change anything on the traction. You didn't change anything on the air unit itself or give us any upgrades or anything like that. The only thing that we get is kind of a redesigned upper. 
uh, which is the cheapest part of the shoe. Obviously, the air unit has to be probably the most expensive part. Uh, anyways, I'll put the on-foot section right here for you guys so you can see what they look like on feet. Uh, I actually really like the way they look on feet. I think that they look good in joggers. Uh, obviously, you could wear them with shorts or whatever else as well. And I wore them with jeans to work, and I posted those on Instagram. I really like the way that they fit, they feel, they're comfortable, they look clean. Um, I actually like the hits of the, the reflective on this colorway in particular. I can imagine that they're going to have 20 different colorways of this shoe. So if you didn't see one you, you liked already, just wait it out and wait to, till one catches your eye. And, um, and then you could probably shop around and get a pair for under retail uh, as well. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for me, though. I mean, do you guys like the, uh, the Air Max line or not? It's kind of like the pinnacle line of running sneakers that most people don't even use for running, which is kind of funny. Like, my wife um, doesn't even run in Air Maxes, uh, sh but it's like the most expensive line uh, for the running shoes. But they're really comfortable, and, and there's something to be said about that. Uh, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.